The goal of this video is to provide an intuitive understanding of what Euler angles are and why they are useful for describing rotations and orientations of reference frames. So there are many ways to describe rotations, but Euler angles are one of the more intuitive ones for us humans to understand. And this is as opposed to quaternions or principal axis and angle. And this video will be going over several different examples in order to demonstrate how Euler angles are used for describing the orientations of reference frames. So these examples will include spacecraft attitude controls like the one on the top, Keplerian orbital elements like the example on the bottom, the space shuttle, and airplanes. Euler angles can also be used to describe orientations of reference frames over time, giving a time history, and they can range from relatively simple, like the example of a spacecraft in an equatorial orbit with its body reference frame aligned with a local vertical, local horizontal, or LVLH frame, which is just spinning around its z-axis, just like the example on the left, or more complex cases like in the one of an object with unstable spin about its intermediate axis, like the one on the right. And just to show one more example, here's the Euler angle time history for a detumbling spacecraft, which I'll be covering further in detail in the spacecraft attitude control with Python series. So make sure you subscribe to be notified about those future videos. So this is the seventh video in this series, and this one will be going over Euler angles definition, making sure you get an intuitive standing before we go over the math, going over a reference frame example, space shuttle roll example, airplane example, Keplerian orbital elements. And again, the goal of this video is to intuitively understand Euler angles and why they are useful for understanding rotations. So what are Euler angles? The way that I like to think about them is that there are three values that describe the orientation of one reference frame with respect to another by defining three successive rotations about three principal axes. So the goal in this example is going to be to show how to describe this purple frame with respect to the white frame by using a 3, 2, 1 Euler angle sequence where three, two, one means that the rotations are going to be in the Z axis and then the Y axis and then the X axis and order here matters. So let's take a look at the animation here on the top right to go through this definition. So we'll wait until it comes back around. It's doing its last rotation here. So it's going to start with the purple flame aligned with the white frame doing a seven degree rotation about the Z axis. Once that's done, it's now doing a rotation about the Y axis. And after that, it's doing a rotation about the X axis and once all those three rotations are done, the purple frame gets aligned to the target orientation that we have here on the left. So you can see right here at the end, it gets aligned to that by doing those three successive rotations. And it may not be immediately obvious as to why using Euler angles are intuitive or useful. Like why do we do these three separate rotations a yaw rotation, a pitch rotation, and a roll rotation in order to describe these two reference frames where we could just do one rotation about some arbitrary axis in order to define how this purple frame is oriented with respect to the white frame. And this is definitely possible by using a rotation axis and an angle about that axis or using quaternions. But this is actually less intuitive because it's easier for us to visualize three angles about three known axes versus three numbers that describe some arbitrary axis and one angle about that axis. Instead, what Euler angles do is describe an orientation with three angles corresponding to the body fixed system, which again is a lot easier for humans to visualize. One place you may have seen or heard of Euler angles without actually knowing it is by watching the space shuttle launches. So whenever you hear someone call out on the radio, roll program, they are referring to the space shuttle doing a rotation about its roll axis in order to align its body to fly towards its target orbit. We can also take a look at airplanes. So this is what the principal axes, the X, Y, and Z axes are generally defined for, for airplanes. So the body X axis points from the plane's center of mass out to the wings. The body Y axis points along the length of the plane and the Z axis points in the downward direction. That's why this is negative here, negative yaw. And one example that's easy for us to visualize is when an plane takes off using a pitch maneuver. So once the airplane gets enough velocity as it's going down the runway, the pilot will command a rotation about its pitch axis in order to increase the plane's angle of attack and create enough lift to take off into the air. 
And another application of using Euler angles are the Keplerian orbital elements. So there's three of the elements that describe the orientation of an orbit with respect to the Earth-centered inertial frame, which is the white frame in this example. And this is a 3-1-3 sequence, which means that the first rotation is about the z-axis, second one about the x-axis, and the third one about the z-axis again. So the first element is the right ascension, which is the angle that is in between the x-axis of the Earth-centered inertial frame to the ascending node, which is the point where the orbit comes up through, so going in the positive z direction of the Earth equatorial plane, which is the xy plane here. The next rotation is the inclination, so that is the angle between the equatorial plane and the orbit itself, which is a rotation about this vector pointing from the center of the Earth to the ascending node, which is the x-axis in this intermediate frame. And the third Euler angle is the argument of periapsis, which is the angle describing the rotation from the ascending node to the periapse point of the orbit and it is a rotation around the angular momentum vector of the orbit which is the z-axis so in this case it's 270 degrees since it goes all the way around here so that's pretty much it for this video be sure to hit like and subscribe if you like the video to help me out with the youtube algorithm and also let me know in the comments if you found any of this confusing or if you still have any more questions or comments about euler angles so i can put them into the future videos and in the future videos we'll be going over the euler angles math and the software including using the nasa spice system and i'm also going to be making a video going more into depth in the kepler and orbital elements in the orbital mechanics of python series and again this part of the numerical methods with Python series is a prerequisite for the spacecraft attitude control series of Python that I'm working on. So after I get through Euler angles, I'll be going through quaternions and then getting started on that series. So again, leave any questions in the comments and thank you for watching.